This video is using the International Fuel Gas Code 2012. That's the page numbers you'll see on it. These charts haven't changed for quite a while. And so the only thing that will be different probably in later ones will be the page numbers for the different charts. Okay, this is gas venting for category, category 1 appliances. Venting is the piping between the inside and the exhaust on the outside of the structure. And a little bit on uh, what the different things mean here. Where we're showing here, that's a draft hood. This is also a draft hood. We will have the uh, BTUs of the appliance right there. Okay, a category one appliance is a vent temperature above 140 degrees. It's vented with metal pipe and the vent is under non-positive pressure. It could either be a drafted appliance or a fan assisted appliance, but the vent is still under non-positive pressure. Okay, note here, the, uh, we're gonna determine the diameter of the vent pipe for this furnace. Now these dots here are indicating that this is type B double wall vent. If there is no double wall vent, it'll just be a single uh, line. Okay, it's a draft hood appliance. It's 100,000 BTUs. Uh, type B vent. The vent height. Now note the height of the vent is from the very top of the furnace where the connection to the vent is to the bottom of the vent termination 25 feet okay we know the gas input to the appliance right here now we can go to the chart on page 100 and we can determine the proper size vent uh, this is done with the 2012 IFGC, International Fuel Gas Code. Uh, later ones uh, will probably have a different page number. And so the page numbers are not always going to correspond. Okay, 30 foot vent height is closest to 25 foot without being under length. So it has to be at least that long or the next one up. Okay, <clears throat> here's the page. Uh, we have a 30 foot height. No lateral. So the lateral is zero. The input of the furnace is 100,000 BTUs and the furnace is natural draft because it has a draft hood. Okay, we're going to go across here to find the one that will work. Now we have fan, minimum and maximum, natural, uh, and this is on three inch pipe. That won't do it. It's too small, 64,000. Okay. Uh, we go to 4 inch and we have 128. So we end up with a 4 inch vent. So the vent pipe is 4 inch. Okay, this furnace here has an offset. Notice we're still using B vent. The height is 30 feet. Size of the furnace, 100,000, just like the other one. Two foot lateral. And we're gonna go 30 feet. Same one we did last time. Offsets two feet. So we're using 
the two foot lateral and 30 feet up. BTU is 100,000. Okay, now with the two foot lateral, we can do 112,000. So there's your four inch pipe. So the vent size is four inches. Okay, now we have still a 30 foot, but we have a longer lateral. So our lateral is 15. Same height, same furnace, just a 15 foot lateral. Now here, 30 feet, 15 foot lateral, Now, if you look here, if you go four inch, you'll only get 96,000. So you can't do 100,000 on there. So you have to go to the natural column on five inch and you can do 163. Okay. Now we've got an induced draft. This is a sign for an induced draft. Okay, 20 foot. Lateral is 10. The input of the furnace is 80,000. So 20 foot, 10 foot lateral, but we can do four inch. Notice we're under the, the fan minimum and maximum, because there's a minimum for those and a maximum for uh, fan induced furnaces. So we're between the two. So uh, the, mac, the minimum of 30,000, the maximum of 133,000, it's within that. And so, four inch. One of the things I wanted to go through here, uh, probably should have done a little earlier. If you're looking for the chart for this. <laughs> These charts are confusing. I want you to notice right here, we have type B double wall gas vent, okay? Over here, number of appliances, one single appliance. Category one, which all of them are, connected directly to vent. If you are looking at the different charts, you've got to be sure you've got the right one. These are all going to be different. There will be ones for single wall vents. There will be ones for masonry chimneys. There will be ones for uh, multiple furnaces and so on. So you've got to get to the right chart. That's probably the hardest thing about doing this. Okay. So we end up with a four inch vent on this appliance. So far, all we've done is use B vent for the vent and the vent connector. Let's change the vent connector to single wall with B vent for the vertical vent. Okay, this is an induced furnace. 80,000, 10 foot lateral, 20 foot height. So onto the chart. Now, this is a different chart. Type B double wall gas vent. However, if you over here, you look, it's a single appliance, but it's a single wall metal connector. Okay, that's the difference. Now, let's go down here, 20 foot, 10 foot lateral. 
Okay. Uh, that says NA on 3 inch. Because we had an NA for the minimum and maximum and if we go to 4 inch we have a minimum of 93 and a maximum of 129. 80,000 is not in that uh, in that area so I can't do it. I could go higher up and it's just going to get uh, with higher and higher numbers. So that's not a recommended uh, venting system with an 80,000 BTU uh, single appliance fan assisted. You simply can't do it in the way this is set up. Okay, now we're going to try two appliances on a vent and we're going to use single wall vent connector again. Okay, both of these appliances are drafted appliances. Two natural draft appliances, total 140,000 BTU. That's a 100,000 BTU furnace and 40,000 BTU water heater. We have an 8 foot lateral, 30 foot height. Connector rise is 1 foot. Okay, we have to have at least one quarter inch per foot on the rise. Uh, so, and that will handle that. Okay. 30 foot, one foot rise, natural draft appliance, oops. We could do 175,000 BTUs and we have 140. Now, could I make it any smaller? If I go to six inch, I can't. With that one foot rise, I can only go to 129. Also, I wanna note again, type B double wall vent, we're on a different page, Two or more appliances. Single wall connector. Again, this is what's going to get you in trouble if you don't make sure you're on the right chart. So, 7 inch common vent connector. Now, we also have to size this one. Now, the 30 foot, the one foot rise, over to 129. Remember, we're only sizing for the furnace, which is 100,000. 100, so we can do 129,000, so six inch, we'll do this. So I have a six inch vent connector from the furnace to the water heater, a seven inch common vent connector from the both appliances to the vent. Now it's a, a B vent with single wall connectors. Now we are going down to the bottom part of that same page. Remember double wall vent, two or more appliances, single wall connector. We are going to size now the common vent capacity. So all we need is the height, 30 feet. And what we have here, fan plus fan, that would be two fan appliances, fan and a natural draft, one natural, one with a 
draft hood and one fan assisted and then two naturals. We have two naturals here and we can't do it with 140,000. We can't do it there on four inch. That's 113,000. We got 140. If we go to five, it's 180. Now that's a five inch pipe. Okay. Now let's go back and look at this. I have a seven inch common vent connector. Can I have a five inch common vent? The common vent diameter cannot be less than the diameter of the common vent connector. So you have to use a seven inch vent. Okay. Now we're going to try venting into a masonry chimney. Now, okay, here's your masonry chimney. It has to be tile lined. We have a single appliance, draft hood, single wall vent going into a 30 foot tall and an eight foot lateral. vent. Vent connector length is eight feet and of course it's a single wall connector and a uh, 28 square inches inside uh, area of the chimney. We do need to know the inside area of the chimney in these. Okay now we're on a different chart together. It's masonry chimney single appliance, single wall, metal connector. Okay, we have a 30 foot height. We have to use a 10 foot lateral because that's the next one up. And we have to go to five inch. Now we're sizing the vent connector here. Because that'll do 113,000. BTUs, and we've got 100,000, and that'll do 5 inch. So we can do a 5 inch vent connector. Now, we have to go down in this chart here because the lineup has to be the 5 inch can go into a minimum and a maximum internal area of a chimney. The minimum internal area will be 28 square inches. The maximum internal area will be 137 square inches. Now remember, that's right below the five. It's in the five column. So, uh, the minimum is 28 square inches, maximum 137. So this one will work. This will work okay. Now we're going to change that appliance to a fan assistor. Remember, we were drafted appliance in that. Okay, we have the same situation. 30 foot vent height, 8 foot vent connector length, single wall connector, 28 square inch chimney inside, and fan assisted appliance. Okay, we are on uh, the same chart masonry chimney, single appliance, single wall, metal connector. Okay, 30 foot height, we have to use the 10 inch ladder or 10, 10 foot lateral. Then we have to go clear over here. See, we got a lot of NAs here or we can't use them. Okay, we have a minimum of 300 and a maximum of 703,000 BTUs in order to make this work. There isn't anything else on this line that will work with a fan assisted appliance. So can I do this with eight inch pipe? 
Okay, the minimum appliance, 300,000 BTU fan assisted appliance. This is 100,000 BTU. This is a not recommended. Oftentimes, when you do these numbers, you will find it's, a, it's not recommended. If it's not recommended and there's nothing on the same chart line, then that's it. You can't do it. Okay, what could we do to make it work? If I added a drafted appliance, let's see what would happen there. Okay, now I've got 100,000 BTU <clears throat> fan assisted appliance, 40,000 BTU uh, drafted appliance. Uh, we have our 30 foot vent height like we had before our eight foot vent connector length. We have a two foot rise and single wall connector. 28 square inch chimney inside. Okay, let's look this up. 30 foot, two foot rise. We can go over to the four inch column Okay, for our fan appliance, we are 190, uh, we have 91 and 119. So that appliance is within uh, those numbers. So we can do a four inch vent connector. Now that's from the furnace to the water heater. We're going to size a common vent connector now from the water heater to the masonry chimney. This is a pipe we're sizing. Thirty foot vent height, eight foot vent connector length, two foot rise, single wall connector, 28 square foot chimney. Remember, we're at 140,000 BTUs now. So the two appliances together, 140,000. And our 30 foot vent height, two foot connector rise, and natural draft, 142. And we're at 140, so we can do a six inch vent connector. Okay. So our common vent connector is six inch. Here we have our same links all in there. Now let's see if the chimney size is okay. Now they're in the same chart, two or more single wall metal connector masonry chimney, 30 foot height. Now what we have here is we have a fan plus a natural draft appliance. So if it was fan plus fan, it would be NA, but we can do uh, 398,000 BTUs into a 38 minimum internal area chimney. Now, with a 28 minimum internal chimney, we could do 135, but we're at 140. So with this 28 square foot chimney inside, the chimney size is actually too small. I can't do this. It's not going to work. What could be done to make this application work? Let's try putting B vent connectors in. 
Okay. So I'm assuming all this is B vent. This short pipe here and this short pipe here is B vent. I was just too lazy to put the dots in it. Okay. 30 foot height, eight foot length, two foot rise, B vent connector, 28 square inch chimney size. Now, different chart. Masonry chimney, two or more appliances, Type B double wall connector. Okay. Remember, these pages are good for 2012, but uh, later ones may be different. 30 foot height, 2 foot rise. I can do between 38 and 122,000 uh, with 4 inch pipe. Four inch vent connector, same as before. Now we're gonna size the common vent connector. Okay, this is a vent connector from here to here. B vent connector, 28 square foot chimney. Okay, now we are at 30, it's the same chart now. Uh, two foot rise and natural we can go 145 uh, and we have 140 so we have a 6 inch vent connector so now Our common vent connector is six inch. Now we're doing the common vent capacity. This is the vent, uh, the, the chimney. 30 foot height. We can do up to 270,000 BTUs with one fan assisted and one natural draft appliance on the 28 uh, square inch inside chimney. So B vent connectors, this application will work. This sends the exercise for venting of category one appliances.